what does the Cutlass Red mean to you? Kind of Drake's introduction into medical gameplay and um, just this very fun, exciting ship where players can kind of fly around, keep groups together, uh, rescue other players. It's it's my it's my child and Star Citizen. Uh, the Black was the first ship I did from the beginning, so uh, getting to finish the Red, I've been waiting a long time for this, and the Red is uh, bringing a whole new element to Star Citizen. It's the first run on the ladder of the medical gameplay career, so it adds a whole new set of gameplay options that no other ship in the game currently does. So we wanted for the Cutlass Red, instead of the open slide, like assault doors is what I like to call them, on the Cutlass Black. For this one, we needed more of like a protected environment. As the main cabin area is now a medical treatment facility, we have to secure the patients and the workers inside, the people who are being treated in, in danger. I think the, the other thing that people always ask a lot is when can we get my flashy lights on the ship? That was something I was very adamant about at the very start of this process is that it had to have the kind of EMS light feel. The Cutlass Red brings two new features into the Star Citizen universe. Uh, so let's talk about the first one, healing. Healing yourself, if you're injured, you can just go inside the Cutlass, lay down on this bed, there will be a little prompt for you to heal. We have this really cool little scanner that goes through with a nice little like, toned lighting effect, kind of show that you're being healed. And then the second is respawning, which you sort of access in a very similar way. You, you lie down on the bed, you set the, the medical beds to be your respawn point. And then at that point, if you die and the ship is still in relative vicinity, uh, you can respawn back to the ship, which is a, a big feature. Okay, so we're just about out of time. Uh, final thoughts on Cutlass Road. Uh, the thing I'm looking forward to is peel players kind of get them going a little bit better than we can right now. I can't wait for players flying around with their uh, with their lights and shining their searchlights in people's faces. I think for me it's just the, the extension of group play. Because yeah. when yeah. you play as a group at the moment, as soon as one of you makes a mistake and dies, they're essentially out of the group for a, a long period of time whilst they get back and this fills that gap in and it just allows those groups to play on for longer. Yeah.